Hey everyone, my name is Judy and I am here with some back to school lunch ideas. I tried to stay away from foods that are typically banned, like nuts, but some schools are stricter and my apologies if I recommend something that is not allowed. The idea behind these lunches is to feed the whole family the same thing to minimize stress for the lunch maker. Simply adjust portion sizes to the person. Suggestions include minimal prep items and foods that can be made the night before so it's less crazy in the morning. Lastly, I made recommendations for drinks, but realistically, I would pack water 90% of the time. Here are some tips to getting kids to eat healthy. Involve them in the process of making lunches, and make each family member responsible for at least one task. Children are also more likely to eat produce if they're cut up, so make them into bite-sized pieces. Give them two healthy options to choose from. Research suggests that they'll be more likely to eat it if they had a say in what they were eating. It's also important not to bring junk food into the house, at least not all the time. There may be days of whining that so-and-so gets candy for lunch, but one, your kid will go hungry and eventually have to eat what they have, and two, no one's gonna trade candy for veggie sticks and dip. Pack extra snacks so they'll always have healthy options. If you have a picky eater, every time you give in to their crying and whining, it's manipulating you into buying them crap. That's not doing anyone any favors. Do you want your kids fighting obesity in a year or so? If not, then stick to the plan. For Monday, do a whole grain wrap with rotisserie chicken, hummus, and mixed greens, some salted edamame, and a fruit smoothie. You can blend water with fruit, spinach, and kefir. I boil several servings of brown rice pasta when I get a chance and store it separate from my tomato sauce. When I want it for lunch, I combine the two and package. Serve with celery stick with sunflower seed butter smeared inside and topped with chia. Package some sliced apples and if desired, bring diluted orange juice. Half water, half OJ to reduce sugar intake. You can also keep a bunch of cooked quinoa and washed greens in the fridge for a few days. On a school morning, combine quinoa with the greens, crumbled salmon, and dressing. According to some parents, kids will eat salad as long as there's some meat inside. If not, package it nicely in a wrap so it's not so obvious. Toss in some home-popped popcorn topped with sea salt and maybe a bit of black pepper, some fresh berries, and some diluted apple juice to complete the meal. For Thursday, package some whole grain bread with coconut butter. You can get it pre-packaged in health food stores or blend shredded coconut in a food processor until it looks like a spread. I'll have the recipe up on my website shortly, likely by tomorrow, but please remind me in the comments below if I forget to link it. Add in some full fat Greek yogurt and carrot sticks. Remember to cut them up beforehand or use baby carrots in a pinch. Include some cubed watermelon in these lunch packages. And if you're looking for a drink, add coconut water. For Friday, serve rice paper wrap. I like to include shrimp, cucumber, and lettuce, and dip it in pureed mango. Since the paper hardens overnight, I would recommend preparing it day of, but the mango puree can be done days in advance. Include peeled, boiled eggs. Add in a small bunch of grapes. And to drink, toss in some hemp milk, which comes pre-packaged, or you can make your own by blending a quarter cup of hemp with one cup of water, and if you want, you can strain it, but that's not really recommended. If you have other lunch ideas or suggestions on how to feed your kids healthy food, leave me comments below and start a conversation. See you next time!